All right, so here's what else I noticed this time of year. Um, not only do we have the lower back and hip pain, but we tend to start letting our shoulders come forward and we end up with this sort of rounded and slouched position in our posture from sitting too much or from just not paying attention to our posture, letting ourselves fall forward. And if you think about it, I mean, musculoskeletal wise, this is a lot of pressure here on the lower back. And speaking from the organ function, there's no way for your lungs to function well here as well as some other organs that are very compressed. And then you end up with this stomach pooch thing hang hanging out which of course doesn't lend itself to um, the best possible us that we can show forward. And so today we're going to try to pull ourselves up and bring ourselves back into a nice neutral spine. A neutral spine is something totally natural. It's not pulled way back like this and it's not way forward like this. It's nice straight and tall and nice and lean looking and pulling all of this in and feeling strength all the way around through the core and the lower back, okay? So right now we're gonna focus on opening this part up so that all of this can open instead of being so rounded forward, all right? So we're breathing in and exhaling down and around. This is all through the nose. But when you open up, this way, make sure that you're not around and in front, that you're opening up and really getting those shoulders to move. Getting some fluid through those shoulders and just feeling the lats open up. Now this time, I'm going to do a swan dive down to the floor so you are gonna bring it in. And when you exhale, you're going to dive forward, flat back, and down. So hang on to this flat back thing. Your hands are going to be somewhere on your legs probably at this point. I'm going to show you from the side. Here I am with a nice flat back. I'm going to push energy out through the top of my head to make my spine extra long. I'm going to breathe in here. And when I exhale, I'm going to think length and fold. So inhale long. Pulling those shoulders away from the ears, getting the spine long. Exhale, nice and long. And again, breathe in, strong and straight. Exhale, make it nice and long. Now you're gonna hang out down here for a little while and you might feel some tightness here in the back of the legs and that's okay and it's normal. So it's also okay during your practice to hang out and take a few breaths in a posture to kind of loosen things up. Now you're not pushing your knees all the way back to pain. They're straight, but they're not locked backwards. And you have nice strong legs here in the front and you're allowing this to stretch. Breathing in, exhaling down, and allowing that to stretch. Now after a couple of breaths of extending and lengthening, you may see that you're allowing yourself to fold a little bit more. Now with this fold, you want to lean toward the legs with the chest but you want to also be pulling in through the core, not letting that just kind of lay there. Pull that all in. Let's hang out here and let's put one hand in the other. Just holding hands nice and easy. Let's try opening up toward the ceiling. Taking a breath and easing into that stretch where we're opening up the shoulders and chest. Ease into it. And you see as you take those nice deep breaths, that your extension becomes longer and longer still, and you can open up a little more. Now, if you're still rather cold, this might take you a few extra breaths, take your time. And release down, letting the hands come down to the floor nice and easy. And then we're going to swan dive back up. Take a couple of breaths, getting the oxygen to flow, blood through the brain, and through all of your limbs. Once you have normalized, we're going to go back through that sequence again. We're going to swan dive down, and this time you might see that you're folding a little more. 
and we inhale straight and we exhale down. This time grab the other hand and ease yourself into that stretch. And ease yourself a little deeper. And you may find that you can extend a little more and release down. Allow this to round and breathe in and exhale down and around. One more thing I'd like to do with you is just extending the spine backwards. So hands are here on the hips, put your elbows behind you, open up through your chest and shoulders, take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, think of extending the spine back and opening through here. So you're not pushing this forward. Instead, you're pushing your spine longer and opening this up behind or in front of you. And it also you'll feel this start to open behind you. Breathe in. And let's push forward. Breathe out, extend, breathe in, and open. And breathe out, and open through that back, and release. After doing that a couple of times, hopefully you'll start to feel some relief across here, Start feeling stronger and straighter in your back and start taking some of that pressure off of the lower back as well as feeling nice and tall and straight.